So your base is kind of a mess and you're not quite sure how to clean up. Well, stay tuned because what I've got in store for you is the auto sorter. Let's go. What is an auto sorter? Well, the auto sorter is like this big, huge machine that'll automatically sort things that you drop there and that will have things come in from all parts of the world and organize themselves in little containers. So what I've come up with you today, it's an auto sorter that I've developed in help with Pindles on my community server. And we're going to walk through some of that today. So right away, the first thing that you'll notice is that I've lifted it off the ground. I also use these nice little conveyor belts, which you can do if you do one foundation below the foundation that you're on. What you would do is you would delete the foundation. You would go to your foundation here. You would drop one here. You would then drop your belts. You'll place the foundation on top. You will then run a belt on the ground like this. This is how you do the ground belts in this game. And I find this incredibly helpful when you're having to get around uh, the auto sorter. So when you've determined where you want your auto sorter to be, now this could be somewhere a central point, somewhere where you bring your trains in from, doesn't really matter, but you just gotta, you gotta just decide on one point on the map. I've kind of decided over here was a central point of where everything is, and so we decided to move forward with that. Go ahead and lift your foundation three off the floor. We'll have one tile running on the right side. It will be a total of one, two, three, four. <laughs> Six. It'll be 36 long on each side. Now let's break down this wall and go ahead and check out what is inside. So inside you can see a small storage container stacked below a large, two large storage containers. Let's look at what is to the right here. So coming from this storage container down to the small storage container is a lift from a large storage container. That large storage container is receiving items from down below. That is the auto sorter. The storage container at the top is receiving items from in and around the world. So let's look below and see what's going on behind the scenes. So walking down below, which is your wall that is three high, you're gonna want three high wall down here so you can do all of the logistics down here. Taking a look at, at those two containers, we can see that I have two containers stacked side by side with belts traveling between the two down a line of smart splitters. These smart splitters are designed or by design set to a specific product matched up with an Excel sheet that I'll show you over here. So real quick, this is exactly what it looks like here. So each one of the each one of these categories are a new container at a different level. So I will put this down below in the link and you can lay yours out like this. These are the items that I thought would be most important to have auto sorted and that could be collected in and around the world. Now these smart splitters will deliver everything from these two containers down this line. These containers are supplemented with outside world containers to help you with the total quantity, volume of material that you're going to need to do some more end game projects. You'll have splitters stacked on top that will be going this delivering the same product fabric and overflow berry nut and overflow pale berry overflow jetpack everything gets organized here into right output left output and center overflow so that's what you're going to want to do is it's going you're going to want to split that off then it will sort itself into the containers above. Now I've clipped these belts through the ceiling, but I kind of like the way that they look and you can kind of do this any way that you want. I also kind of planned this bottom route for a train to kind of run through. So as you can see here, we we're, we're may or may not run a train through here. Just give yourself enough room to kind of play around with this how, however you like. Now I'll show you the example of what happens here. So I walk over to here and this little indent in the ground, I go up the storage container and I could drop anything into here. Let's say we drop steel beams, modular frames, encased industrial beams, some rubber, and maybe concrete. What happens is that it will all be sorted automatically underneath the facility here. So you can see that these heavy frames and the beams are all traveling down the same line all the way until the end to where they need to get to. Now, there's one more thing that you have to do at the end. Let's go ahead and take a look down at the end right now.
So here we are at the very end of the Smart Splitter line. Now I've, at the very end, have a right output to do anything that doesn't match any of the other stuff. So that's basically what would go here. And the finally, the very, very leftover is going to go into this container here. So eventually this container will be hooked up and then we will sync those extra products at the very end. This makes it so the auto sorter is forever flowing with all the materials that it needs by setting that overflow in the sink at the end of the splitter system. So one more look from above. This is what it looks like from above in the center. It should look something like this. This is what it would look like from one side. These are all the world belts that you will need going into the top container. All these are a different material. And on the left side, it's a little bit different of a design, but essentially the same theory here. Let me show you real quick kind of what I have in store here is as you can see, this comes in from a train. It gets delivered to where it needs to get, but it gets smart splittered over here on an overflow system going into my sorter. So now I will have plenty of stuff left over. So wherever your stuff is coming in from, make sure you set a smart splitter overflow into the world line and then you're done. That's it. You'll all forever be able to come here to this location and better easily find the things that you need. You can go up to the container, you have this here. You go to this container, you have this here. You go up to this container, you have this here. That's gonna be about it. Don't forget guys that this is in my community game and we play a community map over on my live stream every Friday. So please feel free and everyone's invited, first come first serve. So if you show up, you'll be able to hop into the live community game and uh, be able to see projects like this and participate in some other projects. Um, we'd love to have you guys there. So feel free to hop on in and join us in the fun. If you like this project and you wanna see more, make sure you guys smash that subscribe button. Thank you guys so very much. Stay safe, everyone. Skull.